guys, welcome to Simproved. Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video tour of a little build that I've done in the recent past weeks. It's a dark loft, and I've built it in Sunmai Shuno, which is a world that you get if you have the City Living expansion pack. Basically, it's a huge metropolis city, and you can build little penthouses and also apartments. This is a penthouse, and it's a loft and very inspired by Gotham, like Gotham City from the Batman universe. And I wanted to try to build the whole San Maishuno world into a huge Gotham inspired dark city. And I also plan to have my Let's Play in there, or at least a relaunch of a very famous Let's Play that I did on my channel, but never finished. And um, I want to do something more that's horror related since I'm a really big horror movie fan and I thought that in Sims 4 or generally in Sims you can't have like hardcore horror related stuff and gameplay but it's definitely possible to have a more darker, I don't know, more fun gameplay experience if you don't want to have like a family and kids and stuff like this. So I started to build lots and lots of kind of more horror, comically horror related stuff for my Sanrei Shuno world and this is one of them. So you can see it's a huge apartment house in an industrial kind of feel. I made it look more like a huge loft with brick wallpaper, sometimes there's metal flooring or stone flooring and I definitely had a sim in mind that I want to play here for my new relaunched alienation let's play. I know that lots of people already knew about the let's play. I know that I had some fans among them <laughs> because it was kind of a really funny let's play I guess. But it's about a alien sim so you can have aliens in the game and they can disguise themselves as humans. And also it's possible to set them to impregnate other sims. So my alienation let's play will have one alien sim that lives there in the city disguised as a human and we will try to impregnate at least five other female sims and try not to get caught that they know that we are actually an alien in disguise. And when we have all the five sims pregnant and they have the alien babies, then basically we have set the, I don't know, first milestone for the alien invasion. I haven't quite figured out yet how I want to do this, but this is basically a dark, kind of a more darker let's play that's going to be a little bit more funny and play around a little bit with these kind of comic tropes um, from comics and from horror movies, of course. And also I think I'm going to swear a lot because the gameplay in The Sims 4 is kind of tricky for me. So it was lots and lots of fun to build something for a let's play that uh, I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, I hope that I can finish this one um, without getting caught and everything. But I will talk a little bit more about the story of course in the let's play, so if you're interested in that. But I wanted to give you the background of this house who's living there. So since I have a female alien that can impregnate others, it has a very female touch, but I wanted to make it look really like an industrial huge building. So um, you all have already seen the huge living room that is, has also like a huge gallery upstairs where you can look down. There will be lots and lots of bars everywhere because I think that my alien is going to be drunk all the time. I know that Sims can be drunk, but maybe there's a mod for that, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, I wanted it to look kind of very modern, but also a little bit more female and very human, of course. There's only one room that will be very alien, which is a secret laboratory that is on the top floor of this three-story high penthouse. And yeah, it's going to have lots and lots of these alien t technology that she will use to also go to 6M, the home planet that, that we will visit, of course, and kind of fiddle around with technological stuff that she needs for her mission. Basically, she's sent as a mission there. So that's the only thing. The other things, like the other rooms and the whole interior design is more in this Gotham Arkham style that I wanted to do here. A little bit more steampunky, I guess, but also has this flip 
flimsical, comical Sims 4 looks. It's not too kind of badass than the other houses that I've built for the San Maishuno world. But I really, really like how it turned out. And also it has a huge pool with blood in it, of course. <laughs> it's a red pool and I absolutely love it. And from the bedroom, there is a little... I used like the glass stands for so from the bedroom you can basically look down to the pool area if somebody is maybe skinny dipping in there or something to, for uh, lightening the mood or something. Yeah, I wanted to make it look a little bit more alluring, more sexy since our main goal is of course to woohoo and have sex with lots and lots of other sims. So I wanted it to look a little bit more, you know, with reddish colors and kind of modern and sleek for some parts of this apartment to, I don't know, get our sims in the mood. Also there will be a little office for example with a little hangout spot. I basically use that room for lots and lots of activities, for example karaoke, music instruments and maybe painting and stuff that we could do. Also of course there is a lionfish shrine that you have already seen, so our alien is of course also like me a worshipper of the lionfish god. So there's a little shrine and I placed from the spa day one of the meditation things in front of it. So it will look as if she is like praying to it from time to time. That's going to be pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Also, I have used the city living object that has a little red lion. It looks a little bit more Chinese, but that lion is almost everywhere and it's a kind of a little spy thing that tells her where everybody is in an apartment or so, or if somebody is breaking in and stuff like this, which will occasionally maybe, well, happen, I guess, during the Let's Play. But yeah, this is basically the whole rundown of the apartment. Here you can see the laboratory, of course, it's upstairs. There's lots of creepy stuff from the Get to Work DLC. We have a little mannequin body and also of course the cloning pad and of course the portal to her home planet so yeah we can get in contact with the other aliens to get our new mission updates and all that kind of stuff but yeah this is basically the whole build guys i really really hope that you like it something really quirky and special but i absolutely love it and i love doing something that is maybe something out of this world that's not so normal and uh, yeah i really hope that all my viewers that love the horribles and the more darkables really like this one um, thank you so much for watching this if you want to download this the download link is in the video description down below and yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you soon bye bye